Hey everyone, just wanted to put out a quick video today. I actually put a question on Twitter whether you wanted to see me talk about this game and have a quick review of it, and the response was pretty much yes across the board. So today we're going to be talking about and doing a little review of Exploding Kittens. So this game is really easy to learn and really fast paced, so I'm going to try to do this review in under three minutes. Let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so Exploding Kittens is a game that boasts that it takes two minutes to learn and 15 minutes to play, so I'm going to try to do this review in under three minutes. So I guess this is also an unboxing video within a review within an explanation, so you get all the things you guys love in one video. Rules here, excuse me, you got cards. 56 if I remember correctly. Yep, contents. 56 cards. And you got a big old plastic thingy right here that does nothing. Hooray. So, I'm going to explain real quick how this game works so you get an idea of gameplay. For some reason, in the world of exploding kittens, uh, there's cats that explode, as you might have guessed, and you try not to get hit by them and get exploded yourself. So there are exploding kitten cards, and there are defuse cards. Each person starts with one defuse card, and the extra go in the deck so people can get more. Um, and then you start with one less exploding kitten than there are people, so that the last person standing is the winner. Um, number one, right off the bat, one of the best things about this game is the artwork. So right here you have Rainbow Ralphing Cat, you have Catermelon, Hairy Potato Cat, and so on. So in the 56 cards you have basic cards which you can pair together to do certain abilities. Um, and then you have action cards such as Attack, Skip, um, See in the Future, and uh, Nope, which all do different actions. So, as it is a card game, you start with a hand that includes one diffuse and four other cards, um, and you put all the exploding kittens into the deck, and you play your cards, as many as you want, in a turn that you can play down, and then at the end of your turn, you draw a card, hoping that it is not an exploding kitten. If it is an exploding kitten, and you still have your diffuse, this is where it gets interesting. You can diffuse the exploding kitten, and then that means you get to put it back in the deck wherever you want. So if you want to be a dick, you can place it just like this, right on the top. And the next person is going to get hit with that almost no matter what. There is a skip card and other action cards as we mentioned. So if they do not have a fuse and do not have another way out, then they would explode from the kitten and be out of the round. So, the goal is to be the last man standing and not get exploded. So there is some strategy involved, even though it's a very simple game. And it's a lot of fun. We were laughing the first time we played it. I mean, the artwork is great. There's little explanations on the card that make it even better. So it's a really fun game, and I did learn it really fast. I think the first game we played took about 20 minutes, but after that it was down to about 10 or 15. So. I'm going to give the pros just right off the bat. Pros, it great art, really easy to learn, really quick if you have time constraints, and like I said, great artwork. It's funny. The only con I thought of for this game was I paid $30 for this. A package of 56 cards, which is kind of expensive, and if you want to play up to 9 people, because you can only play 5 with the first set, you have to buy an expansion, which is also $30. So it's a little more pricey for a card game that doesn't come with anything but cards. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I thought it was worth it, and I don't regret it too much. That is really the only con. So I hope this review was under three minutes. If not, I have failed you all.